that you meet from Cops Names and Things, so I have another great crafty idea for you today. So today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful paper. I don't know if you've seen the pin on Pinterest, but you can use National Geographics to make beautiful um, pages. Um, and these are especially good for art journals. Um, I like to include them in my art journal kits. Um, they just add a lot of dimension. And I like to have a little, you know, pages that I alter or made myself um, just to kind of add a little something to the kit and to your art journal and your junk journal pages. So I'm going to show you how you make can make these yourself. Or you can always order a kit from me and you would definitely get something. But anyway, so all you're going to need for this is a National Geographic. Um, now, I have seen the pin on Pinterest for making these pages and they say that you have to buy this expensive cleaner. Um, it's like $10 a bottle. It's some kind of orange cleaner. Um, but my friend told me that all that orange cleaner was was like a degreaser. So I thought, well, maybe I can try just a regular degreaser and we'll see how the effect happens. So um, that's what I'm using here. It's just, I got this from the dollar store. It's LA Totally Awesome all-purpose um, disinfectant or cleaner okay but this but definitely get this brand okay and they have it in this bottle get the spray bottle or you probably have some in your cabinet to be honest and then what you're going to do is you're just going to go through your National Geographic magazine I think the pages that have a lot of color work best for this it doesn't matter what year it's made in um, I've tried you know the really old ones and the new ones but ink is all the same Okay, so this one is from 2009. I'm going to show you it does the exact same thing as the older ones. So you'll just select your pages. This is just a top of a box that I'm using. That's kind of what I use um, to alter my pages. So I'm just setting them out. Um, and I'm going to show you how you do this. So all you're going to do is you're going to spray the pages down with your cleaner. Okay. <coughs> And I'm sure this would work with any degreaser. So if you have a degreaser, which all of us probably do, then you're just going to get a piece of paper or a paper towel, and you're just going to let this sit just for a second, and the ink is going to start to come off right away, and you'll just kind of blot it out a little bit. And you might need to let it sit a little longer. But you don't want to let it sit out too long, because if you do, you won't get the effect. And you can kind of make swirls on it. That's what I did with these other pages. So, And you can apply some more degreaser if you need it. These probably will need a little bit more degreaser. But you're just going to kind of blot it and you just give it time to kind of do its thing. Okay. So I'm going to spray a little bit more degreaser but you see all that beautiful ink that's coming up. And if you wanted to, you don't have to use a paper towel and kind of swirl it. Um, you can just kind of um, let it be, and then it'll be like a shadow effect, and that would be fine. So you could still like make out the mountains and stuff. Um, but I kind of liked it all the way altered like that one. Okay. So as you can see, it's already starting to run. The ink's starting to run a little bit. This doesn't look like mountains and sunset anymore. Okay. So that's kind of when you want to begin to kind of blot it, blot it out, you can blot it, just kind of bring your ink through, and I really want um, to get rid of those mountains, so I'm just going to really spray that down, okay, and it doesn't take very much, I mean, I'm using a lot, but, but kind of, and if you wanted to, you could set it, let it sit for a few minutes and then do this part, but I just want to show you the technique. It's very pretty. And if you want, you could do both sides, but I kind of like the writing coming through a little bit. Okay. Well, we should. Okay. And just be careful because you don't want to take away all the ink. can do the back of this one too. Let's see how that goes. We'll let that sit just for a second. Okay. Let's see, that's what we have for that one, which is 
actually very beautiful. If you wanted to, you could add more there so you could not see um, the yellow. But these mostly I use for collaging, so I'm not too worried about if you can see a little bit of the picture. Okay, And this one is, is pretty much gone. The image is pretty much gone, but it looks pretty. You can kind of see the outline of some branches and some flowers. So I kind of like that one. That would be pretty on a page. Okay. Okay. So let's see if we can begin to alter this one. It's going to take this one a few minutes. So I'm going to spray some more down and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you let it sit and then alter it. Okay. But those are those two and then I'll show you another technique also. Okay guys, so I sprayed down um, these pages with my degreaser and um, I let them sit for a few minutes. So um, this is the sunset one that we had. So the colors have run and I just took my fingers and kind of I can move um, my ink around. And sometimes I like to use my fingers, sometimes I like to use paper towels, it just depends on which effect you want. But um, as you can see it's just lots of pretty, it's really pretty. You have some pink and some yellow and lots of blue. So and then it's kind of splotchy too which I love. Okay, now this is another one that I didn't spray that long ago, and I just want to show you like there was a man there. So I can kind of alter him and I can make little swirls. Actually, and it doesn't take as much away much ink if you do it with your finger. Okay, but definitely save your paper towels because we're going to do another craft with these. So save those, don't throw those away, just put them in a garbage bag, and I'll show you what you can make with those one of these days. Probably won't be for a while though, um, but I have some cool things that I do with them. So you can spray a little bit more, and you can just alter it and make it look really pretty. Or like I said, if you wanted to, you could just kind of wipe off a lot of the degreaser, and then you could kind of get a back a background image, which is beautiful too. But this one's very beautiful. Okay, and then um, this is more of like a black and white one. Okay. So I'll just take it, right. it's kind of a light, but it's beautiful. So you'll just take your fingers and just kind of smear it off. If you want, you can spray a little bit more. You could even pick up some ink from your other pages and put that on if I wanted to add a little bit of darkness. But um, when they draw, they're quite beautiful, Okay, just like that. And then this is a bird. And it has lots of really dark black ink, as you can see from my, this is um, the thing, and it's dripping too. Um, so I can just kind of put that in. And if I wanted to, if I hadn't messed with it, I could have left the imprint of the animal there. So like I said, you could do a lot of beautiful background and art journaling um, with these pages. So I like to do both ways, where it's completely altered, and then when it's a little altered, and you can still see the image. But because National Geographic has beautiful images, but um, so that's the way that that one looks, which is gorgeous. So it's really light and then dark on the edges. So that would be a beautiful page for your art journal. Get decoupage on there, which would be great. All right, and this is definitely not a beauty um, kind of project. Make sure that you have kind of everything covered. Okay. And then that's one that I did with a flower. And as you can see, you can see the hint of the flower there. Um, and then that's the flower that we did with the branch. So you can kind of see the hint of it. This is very light. Um, and that one's just kind of blotchy and pretty and light. And then I have these two too. That one's really pretty and light and kind of pastel color. Hopefully you can see that. But you get just beautiful effects just from this technique. So I just wanted to show you um, how you can just buy a bunch of National Geographics and have beautiful paper for your art journaling, your junk journaling, um, that no one else has, you know, because scrapbooking paper, you know, people can go buy it, but they can't buy these beautiful pages, and that's what makes an art journal unique. So um, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions about this technique, please let me know. Um, and if you know anyone that would like to see this, please share it with them. You just let these dry. It doesn't take very long. And um, I mean, it's a good, a good thickness of paper. So it doesn't like 
you know, make your paper weak or anything. It's still quite, quite rigid. You know, you can definitely use it for decoupaging. I love that one. That one's so pretty with all the colors. But um, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and share this. And if you know anyone that would like to see this video, please feel free to share it with them. And I will see you next time. Thanks.